Hi guys, my name is Inna, welcome to the channel. So I recently reacted to the video Geography Now about Poland, which I found very fascinating and there's a little detail that is stuck in my mind. During World War II, there was a bear that was fighting in the Polish army? Like what? I need to find out more about it. And that's exactly what we are doing today in this video. We are gonna react to um, a video from the channel Weird History, the story of Wojtek. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And so yeah, like I wanna know, how did they get a bear to join the army? How did that happen? I want to know all the details. If you enjoy this type of videos, make sure that you hit the like button, you can subscribe and you can check me out on Twitch where I stream. And now let's start. In 1942, a band of Polish soldiers recently released from prisons and work camps stumbled upon an unlikely mascot, a brown bear cub. Enamored with his antics and friendly personality, the troops took on the cub as one of their own. The bear grew and the war progressed. As the men ventured into combat, Wojtek the military bear served right by their sides, distinguishing himself enough to become an official part of the Polish military forces. Today on Weird History, we're going to find out about Wojtek, the bear who went to war. But before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to the Weird History channel and let us know which crazy historic animals you would like to hear about. Now let's crawl out of hibernation and head back to World War II. Now, I just need, I just have one comment. Uh, it makes sense that they found him as he was a cub because of course it's easier to influence um, an animal behavior. So that makes already more sense. On September 1st of 1939, Poland was invaded by German military forces from the north and from the west. On September 17th, Poland was invaded by Soviet forces from the east. As a result of the invasions, more than 400,000 Polish prisoners were sent to work camps in Siberia. This double whammy on Poland was made possible by the German-Soviet Non-Aggression Pact, a pact which fell apart when Hitler directed German forces to invade the Soviet Union in 1941. Not one to take a double cross very well, Stalin ordered Soviet troops to release those same Polish soldiers taken prisoner a few years earlier to join the fight against Germany. As these Polish troops made their way out of Siberia and into Iran, they met a young shepherd. The shepherd carried with him a sack, and in that sack he kept a Syrian brown bear cub. Makes carting around your shih tzu in a purse seem kind of lame, doesn't it? The bear was an orphan. His mother had been killed by hunters. The playful spirit of the cub won the troops over, and they made a trade with the shepherd. The newly adopted bear left his old life to go on an adventure with Polish troopers in World War II. The fighting men gave their new friend the name Wojtek, which means joyful soldier. A brown bear in the ranks of soldiers tends to stick out. A Syrian brown bear is a rather small bear, at least as far as bears go. As an adult, they can measure up to four and a half feet long from nose to tail and weigh up to 550 pounds. How much is that in kilos? I'm sorry, I, I live in Europe. Uh, 500 pounds in uh, kilos okay that's quite a lot uh, it's about 250 kilograms so pretty heavy their fur is light brown closer to the color of straw the hair between the shoulder blades is often a different shade from the rest of their body sometimes appearing as a dark stripe and it is the only bear species known to have white claws very stylish, but boy, do they show dirt. <laughs> the bulk of the responsibilities to care for the brown bear cub fell on two men, essentially his adoptive parents, Dimitra Shaluga and Henrik Sikarowicz. Henrik, in particular, formed a close bond with the bear. In most of the films and pictures that exist of Wojtek, Henrik can always be seen nearby. Apparently, Wojtek had a helicopter parent. In the wild, a Syrian brown bear eats fruits, berries, seeds, plants, grasses, nuts, grubs, and small mammals. If particularly peckish, he will eat cultivated grains and livestock. The military was ill-equipped to care for a bear cub, so the troops made do with what they had. Wojtek was initially fed condensed milk from a bottle. But as he grew, his tastes expanded to include, well, basically anything that was available. Not a real Makes food. sense. The larger Wojtek got, the more bold he became to roam around the camp's kitchen, scrounging up a snack. 
In the rare moments when his military family wasn't doing military things like packing, moving, working, or fighting, Wojtek was always up for mixing it up with his human friends. Whether Wojtek was entertaining the troops or the troops were entertaining Wojtek is hard to say. In any event, he threw back beers like one of the boys. What? But big talk over beers was not Wojtek's style. He was a bear of action. The larger he grew, the more he enjoyed wrestling. The brown bear loved to roughhouse with men, though it was a rare soldier who was brave enough to earnestly tussle with Wojtek. No troops ever got seriously injured, but it was common for a wrestling match to end with someone's body getting scratched or someone's clothes getting shredded. And that someone was never Wojtek. Perhaps that's why most of the men prefer to watch from the sidelines. Yeah, like, I, I get that he was friendly and everything, but, like, imagine doing that, like, so scary. I, I would have never dared to do that. It's like, I get why people prefer staying on the sidelines, like... One was never Wojtek. Perhaps that's why most of the men prefer to watch from the sidelines. As a side note, a friend who urges you to wrestle with a bear may not be your friend. <laughs> exactly. Wojtek's behavior was in... I'm sorry, but I am distracted by the pictures. Like, look at that. Look at that, how pressure, precious. Like, I am a bit distracted from the voiceover just because I'm looking at how cute he is. Your friend. Wojtek's behavior was influenced by his peer group, who happened to be war-hardened men with advanced skills in carousing. It's a tough environment for an impressionable young bear. Wojtek adopted their habits and fit right in. He had his own mug that he used to drink beer and wine from, and when it was empty, Wojtek would look mournfully at the cup until it was refilled. Like, here I'm honestly not understanding if he's joking or not. <laughs> it's like, you would think that he's joking, but he is repeating this for the second time. Is he joking? I don't know, let me know in the comments. <laughs> he also begged for cigarettes, though he insisted someone no. lit them before he would accept. Come on, that Typically, can be after true. after one puff, Wojtek would swallow it whole. Mmm, come to where the flavor is. <laughs> when the troops arrived in Palestine, they were organized into the 22nd Transport Company, Artillery Division, Polish 2nd Corps. The men, however, would not abandon Wojtek, who was immediately adopted as the company mascot. But it wasn't just a symbolic gesture. Wojtek was part of the team. One evening, while the camp was asleep, a thief crept into the compound looking for something to steal. Unfortunately for him, he awoke Wojtek, who rose to investigate. With a massive brown bear lumbering towards him, the frightened thief understandably forgot he was a thief. He made such a clatter that he woke the troops, and he was quickly apprehended. As a reward for his vigilance, Wojtek was given a bottle of beer. Hey, barkeep, how about a bottle of suds for my furry friend over there? So he's real? He's, he, he's not joking? When he was young, Wojtek traveled with the company from site to site in whatever cab of whatever truck had room. But as Wojtek grew, he tipped the scale at 500 pounds, and it was harder to find any vehicle that had room for him to ride Understandably. Shopping. So he was upgraded to one of the company's recovery trucks. A recovery truck is like a tow truck, but military-sized and used to move tanks. For Wojtek, it was a traveling home, like an RV built for a bear. He spent his trips lounging on the recovery truck's bed and alleviating his boredom by climbing the crane to get a view of the surroundings. Wojtek wasn't the only animal who accompanied soldiers in the Second World War, although he likely no, was the only bear he? on the battlefield. Okay. Some animals, like anti-tank dogs, served grim but useful purposes, while others were brought to battle as a mascot. I had Whenever no idea. Whenever he encountered other animals, Wojtek was always friendly. The soldiers of the 20th... A friendly gentleman. We appreciate that, a friendly gentleman bear. Second Transport Company loved to talk about the encounters between Wojtek and Kasha the monkey and Kirkuk the dog two of the war's most famous animal combatants. Consider them the A-list celebrity animals of the day. I have never heard of, of animals being used like during the Second World War. Never heard of that. Kind of shocked, cause like I love animals and just like imagining them in war doesn't make me feel good, but I guess if that happened, it happened. Wojtek never suffered a bullet or shrapnel wound, but he did encounter a life-threatening injury. Wojtek was once stung on the nose by a scorpion. Such an injury is often lethal. In fact, his friend Kirkuk the dog succumbed to a scorpion sting. Wojtek's friend Henrik was beside himself. 
He refused to leave the bear's side, doing all in his power to help Nurse Wojtek back to health. For the first day and a half, the situation was critical, and it looked as if Wojtek might not make it. The soldiers feared the worst. But Wojtek fought back, and against all odds, overcame the scorpion's venom. Within days, he was back to his carousing way. Like, it went back to sleep like a dog. So cute. Nice. Private? As the 22nd Transport Company received their assignment and was sent to the Italian battlefront in 1943, Wojtek had to be left behind in Palestine due to regulations that prohibited animals in combat. Understandably. An active war front is typically not an ideal place for a bear, but Wojtek was not a typical bear. To get around the regulation, Wojtek was officially enlisted in the Polish army. He was even given his own paycheck, rank, and serial number. The bear got a paycheck? This helped ensure his participation was recorded and the world knew under which flag Wojtek served. Though there was confusion and likely a bit of aggravation about transporting a bear to the Italian battlefront, the Polish troops eventually got their way. In Italy, there were a series of fortifications known as the Winter Line. In 1944, the Germans held the western portion of that line. And the Allies determined that breaking through that line near a rocky hill known as Monte Cassino would give them access to the Italian capital of Rome. Atop the hill was an abbey that had been converted into a fearsome stronghold. The abbey ultimately withstood three assaults before the Allies drove its inhabitants backwards into Rome. During one of these assaults, Wojtek's pal Henrik, serving as an artillery spotter, pulled forward into battle and had to leave his bear friend behind. Left among the men who armed and manned the guns, Wojtek refused to sit idly by. Mimicking the behavior of the soldiers around him, Wojtek began to lift massive crates of ammunition and carry them towards the cannons, disregarding what? the gunfire and making himself useful throughout the assault. By the time Monte Cassino was in the hands of the Allies, more than 70,000 men on both sides had lost their lives. When the chaos of battle settled, the troops were able to rest, and word of Wojtek's exploits spread. His fearless actions and loyalty in battle made him a hero among the 22nd Transport Company. Like, of course, war in general is something very bad, and like, like it doesn't even have to be said but like the soldiers they know what they're doing the bear has no idea he's probably just like staying with his friends and following what they are doing but like he doesn't comprehend the reason of course in honor of Wojtek's deeds the official seal of the 22nd transport company was changed to feature Wojtek marching towards cannon fire a shell in each hand the logo was then featured prominently on vehicles uniforms and the like Post war. After the war, the 22nd Transport Company moved to rural Scotland, where they were stationed at an airfield near the village of Hutton. The soldiers Wojtek had spent the previous three years following into battle were restationed or sent home. One by one, they came to say goodbye to their furry friend. Wojtek's battle adventures were ending, but his time in the spotlight was just beginning. Word spread that there was a Syrian brown bear nearby, and Wojtek became a local celebrity among the Scottish people. He was I can imagine why. Stories, visited by locals and inducted into local organizations such as the Polish Scottish Association. In 1947, Wojtek left the military. Rising from his initial rank as private, he was discharged as a corporal. He retired to the Edinburgh Zoo. There, he enjoyed a good life as beloved celebrity, doing an occasional interview and appearing on a local children's show from time to time. Occasional interview. As the years wore on, Wojtek was never forgotten by... I swear he is smiling in that picture. ...by his army pals and was visited by Polish soldiers he had served with. His 82-year-old Polish veteran, Augustin Karoleski, described his reunion with Wojtek. As soon as I mentioned his name, he would sit on his backside and shake his head, wanting a cigarette. Still one of the boys. In the wild, Syrian brown bears live but I'm sorry, I cannot stay serious. A cigarette? Between 20 and 25 years. Wojtek, for all his adventures, lived to a ripe age of 21 and passed away in 1963. Mm. So what do you think? Would you want to have a bear in your unit? Let us know. I don't know if I'm more shocked that there was a bear in the army or that he was behaving like a human, like he was one of the boys asking for all what stuff. 
shocked i swear like i did not expect that i didn't uh but it was very entertaining i have to say and i would love to see more videos like this one this channel looks very cool so i'm definitely gonna check out more of their videos let me know in the comments down below if you have any other suggestions something that you would like me to react to or just like some facts from for, for this bear because like such an interesting life such an interesting life so i will see you in the next one but before we leave make sure that you hit the like button if you enjoyed the video you can subscribe and you can also check me out on twitch where i stream bye